day in May. We are in this beautiful state of Goa and I am Deepak Pathania, the host of the YouTube channel The Art of Science. My channel too is just like Jesse's channel Everyday Science that should come with a warning. The content of this channel might leave you a bit smarter. Okay, now we are heading to this place where there is a political rally in progress of this revolutionary new party which promises to positively impact and change the way politics has been done in this country. Now you must be wondering what politics has to do with an element in the periodic table. See, the element that we are talking about is Cyborgium. Atomic number 106, atomic symbol SG, atomic weight 269. Now the thing is, Cyborgium was named after the influential American chemist called Glenn Seaborg, who was on teams that discovered Americium, Plutonium, Nobelium, Mendelevium, Berkelium, Californium, Curium and Thorium. He received the Nobel Prizeium in chemistry in 1951. And now the politics. There's one of the buses that's going to the rally. Cyborgium was named after Seaborg, who was uh, alive at the time the naming was published. And the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry opposed it. Here we are at the rally. I'll take you for a glimpse of a new age political rally of India. And while we explore the sea of people, back to Seaborgium. In 1994, a committee of IUPAC that's International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, recommended that element 106 be named Rutherfordium and adopted a ruling that no element can be named after a living person. But this ruling was fiercely objected by the American Chemical Society, which pointed out that a precedent had been set when Einsteinium was proposed as a name during Albert Einstein's life. And a survey indicated that chemists were anyway not concerned with the fact that Seaborg was still alive. In 1996, a compromise was made and the name Cyborgium for element 106 was recognized internationally and the name Rutherfordium was assigned to element 104 instead. Wow, that's an Indian god Hanuman walking around mingling with the general public. That can't be a bad sign. Now something more about Cyborgium. Its most stable isotope 271SG has a half-life of 1.9 minutes. A more recently discovered isotope 269SG has a potentially slightly longer half-life of 2.1 minutes based on the observation of a single decay. Cyborgium belongs to a family of transuranium elements which are chemical elements with atomic numbers greater than the atomic number of uranium, which is 92. All these elements are unstable and decay radioactively into other elements. I could have gone on and on because every time the camera was not on me, I could read the next few lines from the net. Because I'm not a scientist or anything close to that. I don't know it all. I just go ahead and do it all. Learning by doing. Do check out my channel and remember to subscribe to Everyday Science and The Art of Science.